the hot in here. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. I have done that song so many times before. Back straight, back up, open your eyes. I just had my coffee. I'm ready to pile this out for you guys. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, who you're watching Beamus. What was that new line that I love now? If you don't like me doing these kind of sets, you can suck my brick. That's gonna be the new tagline, I love it. No, seriously, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. We're gonna look at another kata set. Another one from EXE Sandbox. Did you watch the other two right here? These two, these two pretty awesome Japanese style sets. This is the third one. So today we're looking at Kata's Japanese tea shop. C66010, 1,200 pieces. Here's the amazing box. Kind of jacked up. But some of you have been ordering it with the box. Most of you get it without the box. Without the box, we can squeeze it in. Didn't you enjoy my vlogs? Like having to see me packing my orders? If you haven't, go watch my last couple videos. I like to vlog now, I guess. And if you like the vlogs, please let me know in the comments. That's, I'll get my ass out of the chair and move around more for you guys, right? But anyway, this box is pretty dope. And it comes with a USB light. The same exact USB light from every other Kata set that they've come out with. Simple, you can roll up, you plug it into your USB power bank or your outlet and you're, you're good to go. With a light option, you can turn this into a disco club. Anyway, front, I love the Japanese style design. Kudos, good job, Kata. And there's the back. We'll see how this all functions and works out. This box is empty. It can go in the trash. It comes with two books. Does it need to have two books? Absolutely not. But Kata likes to keep their builds very simple, to the point, and easy for you guys to read. No issues. I'll open just one of them there. Cool, right? See how fast I'm doing this? 2023, faster videos to get out for you guys. Shorter videos, to the point. And in case you want to see, here's what all three of them look like together there like a beautiful family fits very fittingly and well exe did you like prepare to have these all laid out like this oh i guess so because you have another technic piece here that means that's probably gonna be fourth one i hope you continue to do this line as long as you're around working with kata with this collaboration it's a beautiful set and we're done with this video you guys can go buy all these right now, brickmeupscotty.com. Thank you so much for your time. I'm getting the hell out of here. Just admire the set, because it looks really, really good. You know, I won't do you dirty like that. First impression, absolutely love it. I think it's really good. And do I like them better than the other ones? Each one of them are so different from one another. You just gotta get all three, man. That's all I can say. You have to, because they're so unique. And this one is just unique in its own way. As far as the interior goes, I actually quite like this one a lot. It's still simple. Anyway, let's just look on the front here. This one actually looks more older style, right? The other ones are really modern. This one's kind of bringing back old Japanese style, just like the symbol block type of Japanese dolls, which are on sale. They're, they're still on sale. You know what? We had so much fun with the sale on the store. I'm going to keep those ones on sale for you guys. So buy them out while you can, while supplies last on our store. Just to give you a quick rotation, first thing you're probably going to notice is that electrical pole. Do that electrical pole. It's badass, or the utility pole, whatever kind of pole that is. Look at that, I just like doing that because it feels so cool. A lot of colors going on in the front there. I like the design, it really does feel like you're in Japan, right? Man, I miss Japan. I will go back, I hope to visit, like this year, for sure. Go flip it to the side here. There's nothing here, because you're gonna have to attach it to something else. And then flip it to the back here. It has actually some stuff going on, which I really like. We'll come back to that in detail. I'm just giving you a nice spin. Come to this side here. This piece right here can pop off pretty easy. It kind of like fits to the back of the other buildings. So just, just be aware of that. And now back to the front. Let's take a look at this bad boy in the front. So starting on the front here, you have this nice vending machine. I'm a sucker for vending machines and little objects like that to build. I think they're a lot of fun. That is a sticker inside. Yeah, it's still a lot of stickers, man. I was laughing. I, I, I lurk on Reddit. If you go on Reddit, to the Lepin, Lepin page. I see you guys should change the name, man. It's like, that's gone already. But anyway, if you go there, I'm sure a lot of you are from there anyway. What's up, guys? I'm sorry, man, I've just been lurking. I enjoy your posts more than I post. And anyway, someone put a picture there. I'll put it up here. And if they had printed pieces, it would be like Utopia. So everything that you see on the set is stickers and all the drinks inside this vending machine are. And that's supposed to be Pukari. But instead it says plastic sweat, which I kind of laughed about. And my one, I probably put the sticker on wrong, but it, it, it kind of cut off there. You do get the full sticker. 
so you probably did a better job than me because I suck at stickers, man. What I didn't like about the vending machine is the side pieces. It doesn't have a stud on the top to hold it down, so it's kind of like, you can see there, it kind of sticks out a little bit, just a little bit, but the overall build was actually a lot of fun. And down here, it's all tiled. You got some flowers there, a little container, probably for put your umbrellas inside. And EXE loves to do sliding doors. You can see the sliding doors right there. They function just fine, but he's like the master of sliding doors. And this one has a sliding door feature on the back, which is like, ah, yeah, man. Everything should be sliding, it'd be perfect. You got a small little welcoming mat there. I like the little flowers on the front. They look really cool. They're like almost like bonsai tree looking type thing. I think one of my pieces popped off when I brought it into the office. So I just kind of slapped that back in there together. And you got this yellow piece, this brick piece. That's kind of interesting. Is there a reason why it's designed like that? Maybe you're going to put other things on here or... I, I want to know what the idea was for that. Explain yourself, man. I'm just kidding. It looks good though. There's a little sticker here. I can spin that pretty good. Look at that. Yeah, we can talk about the pole already. A lot of attention to detail there. The stickers, the signs going up. You come up midway and you got this little light coming out here in the little electrical box there. Is that right? I don't know these terms, man. That That's amazing. The detail on this is so good. And the great thing is this is totally different from all the other electrical poles. Like all the electrical poles. It's almost fun building electrical poles for any set that comes with them now. Everyone's trying to like do their own style and get really creative with it. I like the look of it. Along the top, you got all the little joystick pieces there that swung sideways. So yeah, cool. And a little string here that goes into the lovely house. You got a nice big long sticker there, the Japanese tea shop sign with a telephone number on it and awning. The rooftop pieces, they kind of use the same deal we've seen before. The slants coming down, little grooves on them. Where did we see these before, guys? We just saw them recently. The look of them is actually really good. Just remember that the groove goes one way, so don't flip it around or you'll see it. You'll know that, oh, I did something wrong. I think I did it right, in the right direction. I love the texture look of that. The second floor does have a little tiny balcony there and a little air conditioning unit on this side. Over here, the little utility box. Is it, I think, or is it supposed to be shutter of the windows? I can't tell. You open it up though, nothing in there. But that's okay. It stays closed, man, don't open it. And then the rooftop on the top just has a little tiny chimney there. Or a little vent. The second floor in the back, there's just a window there and a little drain pipe connected, nothing crazy to go about. The bottom of the back is actually pretty cool. I like all these little attention to detail, the plants there, and looks like more power box there, a little faucet there, and this wood plank on the side, and more drain pipes here. And I love the use of this ladder. He used a piece of ladder for like the back wall. That is awesome, man. So I told you EXE is the master of sliding doors. The whole back piece slides open. I built it, I was like, yo, that's amazing, man. I had one deformed piece, it was actually a pretty important piece. I'm like, oh, dude, it like melted. You'll see in a second. But when I put it in there, I'm like, oh, it works perfectly fine for the set. So yours will probably open up even smoother than mine. This wood plank here, you might want to move it forward a little bit. It's on hinges, so you can just go like that. And then you're gonna push here and go, yo, wow, we open up like that. There you go, just leave it like that. Kind of interesting, right? That is so cool and unique. But if I show you right there, that's my deformed piece but did not interfere with the set at all. So the bottom here, does the sliding door open fine? Yes, it opens up on both sides. You can open the left side and right side. It's a little bit snug, but they do work just fine. When you walk inside, it is all tiled on the inside. What do I like? It's pretty close to minifigure scale, right? I mean, the figure looks inside just fine. If I put a figure inside, you can see for yourself. You judge for yourself how it looks. I really like the look of it. There are no stickers on the inside here. So it is a little bit plain looking, but I like it. You know, I like the little counter here with a teacup on it. You use boxes as a counter, we've seen that before. And the table right here, so you can enjoy your tea. It might be a little bit hard to sit down a figure. You might want to put chairs in there. Got a little flower there in the corner. And you'll see like along the edges of all these little pieces with the, I don't know what those are called. They have little holes through them. That's where the USB light is actually going to travel through. And it goes through these lights and it goes through the staircase up to the second floor. So I'm not a light guy. So I'm not gonna put them in here on the set. There's nothing else down here except for this nice big side wall behind the counter. I like the look of that, you know? There's another teapot inside there, more glasses and probably like ingredients and drawers to stash your tea that you're gonna make for your customers. The most unfortunate thing is you can't take the upper floor off. I kind of wish you could. 
I like this design though, because you can still kind of get your hands in there. For sure, it's really hard to get the figure on the staircase on the inside, that's the only issue. And the staircase is funny, those two by three tiles or pieces are sticking out. You would never normally do that, right? But here it makes sense, it looks really good. When you come up to the second floor, it's a very simple tea room. There's a sticker, the mountain there, the sunset or sunrise. And you got a little bit of the cabinet into the wall, which I really like. And he did the flooring, which is very similar if you guys have like the Lego Friends set, how they do the carpets and they kind of flush it in. It's kind of like that here, so it's a little bit raised. But I like the table. The whole look and the vibe just looks pretty like this, but it is dark, so the lights will help light it up for sure. And from this angle, you can see the balcony there. And guess what? That is a sliding door. You can slide it open and go outside. Yo, what a pleasant surprise. I love the set a lot. And we're done with this video. It's time to do dimensions. Let's just measure the sucker up so you can get out of here and go order it right now on the store. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. So for your dimensions, break out your 32 by 32 plate. Stack it here. You probably put the whole thing on top easy and put more stuff around it, but you probably can't if you're gonna attach the other buildings to it. But just to give you an idea here, if I go, what? We gotta spin it to the back because the back is actually longer than the front just because of this piece right here. And that is around 19 studs by length. Minus a few studs for this little piece if you don't want it there, I guess you can pull that off. But we come here to the side, this is 23 studs by width. Bit of an odd shape. Now we check for the height. The utility pole is the longest, so we'll go like this. Break out your one by four bricks. We'll stack it right here. And it's pretty close, oh, it's sticking down. Let me push the pole down a little bit to match it more better. It's close, it's close enough, guys. If I go like that, you're looking at about, we well, can't see it there, about 24 bricks in height. You know, you can always knock that pole down or take it away if you don't really want it. It'll be a little bit lower. And just for fun, I will stack it together with the other ones before we drop this thing. So you can admire it one more time. And yes, I know I'm missing a piece from the other set there in the front. I don't know where it is. It's gone, yo. So if I were to link it up like this, there you go. Between this and also Jang's modern street, I mean, this is a lot scaled down, but both are really good, man. And, you know, for a lot of people that don't have space, this is a really good option to just buy these three. The level and the quality on these guys are absolutely amazing. There's the back. Three very different, unique styles. Congratulations, EXT. You're amazing for your sets. I love it, man. I want more, bigger. Where's your 32 by 32 one? Boy, it sure is humid again. Anyway, the video is complete. It is now time for me to drop this thing. And just so you know, the USB wire here, I tried to put it in for you guys to show you, but it was a mess. You had to actually use it or do this while you're building the set. But trust me, man, you cut a USB is a smart idea, but I don't like wires and it's, it would look good if you like wires and lights and all that kind of stuff in your sets. And the other thing too is when you get to the second floor, I forgot to mention earlier, on the ceiling, he uses inverted bricks and it looks all flushed out. It looks really pretty like that. The wires have to go through the lights and you're gonna see all that there. And one of you guys on my Facebook told me like you had issues with the rooftop part when you're installing the light or it's like hard to flush down. So you might find a little bit of a technical issue when you're installing these and like pushing plate down, but I didn't have any issues. It's probably because I didn't use the light. <laughs> Forget that. It's time to take this little tiny shop and destroy it. If you don't like this, don't watch it. If you like it, let's have some fun. Man, that wasn't so bad. Just the rooftop and the vending machine. See, I told you the vending machine don't have enough support on the side here. And, oh, Chris actually asked me that. He's like, I can't see inside the set when I'm filming this thing. He did come back, by the way, to help me shoot a little bit. I'm like, no, the rooftop is sealed off there, so you won't get any light coming in from the top. But there you can see the rooftop, how that popped off easy. But that's too bad, yeah? Just that and that inside. If I slide this to the back here, and take a look inside. Oh, the flower and the table popped off. That's it. And those are all easy to put back on. There you go. 
You can enjoy the set, guys. It's all good. So cool. Go get them. All available. Good. Perfect. Yes. Need more of these. Anyway, thank you, EXE, for making these sets. Thank you guys for all your love and support. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And maybe one day I'll collaborate with him, too. Do our own Brick Me Up Scotty set. Would you buy a Brick Me Up Scotty office? Yeah? Okay. Let's see. All right, you guys. Until next time. Brick Me Out.